Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've stopped off at the village of Abernethy which is uh, in the Perthshire countryside and it's actually one of only two places that I know of in Scotland have got one of the Irish uh, style brown towers. Uh, so we've got one here at Abernethy and there's one at Brechin which I was went and visited last year. I will try to pick in link it in to this video here. Yeah, so the, the one at Brecon is at the cathedral and the one here at Abernethy is in the village centre. So I will be walking down uh, into the village in a moment because uh, I, I will be here to see the museum. So it's kind of right next to the museum itself. So I'll try and, I'll try and see the, the tower while I'm down there as well. And from what I've seen, Abernethy is a really pretty looking little village. Quite windy, narrow streets, so just do, do bear that in mind if you're, if you're coming to visit. So I might try and see if I can have a little wander around the village as well and see what's going on. So before I do head off, uh, if you're enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's TikTok account and the PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comments section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my bag and head on out. So this is the main street in Abernethy. Yeah, some very colourfully painted buildings. You can hear how quiet it is. The museum and the round tower are down this way. So we've got the, the market cross here in the centre of the village. And there's a couple of wee plaques on it as we war memorials and just over there that is the round tower I think it might actually be in the grounds of uh, the church as well a bit like the one at Brechin get a bit closer yeah it's a wee interesting shop here uh, it's called Mad Stoves so they got uh, we shop we could do a takeaway. You can get yourself a quite a dumpling. So this is the the tower here. And even though it was a medieval tower, they did add a clock on it in the nineteenth century, nineteen sixty-eight. You might be able to make out at the top of the clock. It says V and R. Doesn't mean virtual reality. It means uh, Victoria Regina or Queen Victoria in English. And there's some information here. Yes, yeah, so it mentions here that this, that this tower and the similar tower in Beacon and Angus are the only two Irish Celtic type round towers in Scotland. And the key for it can be gotten from the Museum of Abernethy during opening hours. And I'm guessing it's going to be a spiral staircase, so it might not be a good idea for me. And I think what they're calling the Roy Head... I don't know if that's... Is that the Roy Headstone? Because that does look like a repurposed Pictish stone. There's a Pictish carvings on it. Or maybe they meant... It might be in there somewhere. Yeah, that's the door there. Yeah, I don't think I'd get myself up there. <laughs> Probably checking out about a quarter of the way up.
Yeah, and Slava Ukraini. Yeah, excuse the noise there, because I did actually treat myself to a wee box of tea. Part of a Christmas present for a friend. Yeah, I'm just trying to find where the museum is for, for Abernethy. And the sign was posted or pointing down this way. So I'm guessing I must be down. Oh, actually, I just see a sign for it. It's actually that building just there. Uh, fortunately, it looks like it's closed just now. But that does, just gives me even more reason to come back uh, at a later date and visit the museum itself. So I could just go for a wee wander around the village and show you what else I can find. So, it'd be like a tree information board. So the history of Abernethy dates all the way back to the Iron Age, or well, the Bronze Age actually. So it does actually have quite a significant place in not just Scottish history but British history in general. Because Malcolm Canmore and William the Conqueror actually met here to sign a treaty. Yeah, so I will have to come back for the museum because they've got Bronze Age archaeology, Roman archaeology, and some Picti stones. Yeah, so it's back open in May next year. So it's sitting on the site of a, a monastery. So the Romans did actually get into Persia. And this is an old Pictish capital as well. So definitely something to come back to next year and have a good wee explore around. So Abernethy has conservation village status, which does mean the village as it is has to be preserved and protected. And also means that if there is going to be any building in the area, like you know, at the village itself, uh, there's even stricter rules that have to be abided by in order to try and protect uh, the character and the nature of the village. And it's totally understandable why, because it does have such a lo lovely atmosphere that you don't get very many places now. Yeah, just a sign for that, Pitmedin Pit Forest. Sounds interesting. Might try to see if we can find that. If I do find it, I'll do a wee separate video for it. Yeah, I just came round the corner and found this. It's like the Crees Inn. So if you're in the area and you're looking for somewhere to stay, they've got some rooms. Oh, it's got a, a restaurant. They, like some, they do live music as well. They have a car park. And you can probably just look at that hilltop through the trees there, just behind the white house. I wonder if that's where 
Now in age four it is. It just has a little look about it. It does, it does set off my archaeological spider sense. Well, that's the back of my little wander around Abernethy. And as I was saying earlier on, it is a bit of a shame that the museum is closed. But then again, I am currently out and about when it's off season. It's not the usual tourist season right now. It's uh, I'm actually filming this in, in November. So most places close at the end of September, the season. But again, I still did, I did have a good wander around the village itself. Really pretty little place in the fact that I managed to go and get something out of uh, the Clutty McTooties. So I will try and see, I, I know they do have a website, so I will uh, post it in the description bar below and in a pinned comment if you want to have a look at them, see what else they do. Because they do have a cafe as well as having their little shop. So definitely want to check out. And with the museum having been closed and reopening in, in May, it just gives me even more reason to come back and have another little visit. So yeah, that's, some, that's definitely something to look forward to, especially with the museum here having so much archaeology, and uh, especially local archaeology and things on local history. So hopefully you will have found this video interesting. Hopefully you will have found the village of Abernethy intriguing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.